Hey everyone, this is Warren from KL Gadget Guide. If you have been noticing our work recently, we have started covering PC DIY and hardware reviews and news. So which means in the near future, you could actually expect more exciting contents from us from the PC DIY and hardware world. In this video, I'm going to take the opportunity to introduce to you our very first test bench provided by ASUS Malaysia and Cooler Master. And we actually have a name for our test bench. It is called the KLGG Test Bench Mark 1. Okay, as we have mentioned earlier, this test bench is provided by ASUS and Cooler Master, two of our very great hardware partners. So this is the Cooler Master test bench version 1.0. It is a very compact test bench that I believe many hardware reviewers are actually using it. So the graphics card here, of course, is not provided by neither of one of them, but this is by NVIDIA. This is the latest GTX 980 Ti that we have recently reviewed. If you haven't read the review of the 980 Ti, do head on over to KL Gadget Guide to read the full review from us. This is really a beautiful graphics card. Our motherboard is the ASUS Sabertooth Z97 Mark I, which I've just removed from our test bench. So what we are looking right here, this is a really tough, um, chassis. This is a thermal armor that actually cools down the components on the motherboard. And if we actually turn over to the back, this is an even tougher uh, metal armor that actually uh, avoids the motherboard from being bent or um, being being bumped. And it's really great that ASUS did consider that you know this is a motherboard meant for DIY purposes. So people uh, are tend to uh, remove or install hardware all the time. Yeah, so ASUS has really done a great job to protect its motherboard right here. All right, so this is based on the Intel Z97 chipset. So obviously we are using a fourth generation Intel Core processor. And even though ASUS says that it supports fifth generation Intel Core CPUs on board, it has to be based on the socket 1150 and you have to use DDR3 on this motherboard. Unfortunately, it does not support DDR4, but still most people would go for DDR3 because it's the most, it's still pretty affordable when compared to DDR4. So we have the Kingston HyperX Fury, and this is the DDR3 1866 megahertz model. All right, so let's turn over to the right of the motherboard here. And as you can see, we have six SATA ports right here that could actually connect your SSDs, uh, DVD writers, Blu-ray ROMs, and hard drives. And we also have one SATA Express port right here. So these SATA ports work at six gigabit per second. And just another additional two up here um, if you ever really need them. All right, so this motherboard has full solid capacitors. As always, this is a higher motherboard. It should support full solid caps. All right, so on the back here, we have four USB 2.0, um, optical audio output, mini, dis uh, this is not mini, it's a full size display port, um, HDMI, dual gigabit ports, and four USB 3.0. And we have an eight channel audio port right here. It is powered by Realtek chipset that outputs a great 112 decibel signal to noise ratio, which means we could expect really high definition sound out of this motherboard. Next up, our power supply is the Cooler Master G750M modular power supply. So it actually produces uh, 750 watts of true power to the test bench. And the benefit of having a modular power supply is that you can actually connect SATA power connectors if you ever need them. So it makes um, cabling much more cleaner than ever. If you compare to non-modular power supplies, you actually have all the cables jumbled out in just one whole junk just like this. So having a modular power supply actually keeps cables clean on your test bench or inside your um, CPU chassis. Next up, we have the Cooler Master Napton 120XL. So this is a water cooling solution from Cooler Master that works really great out of the box. So this is the water cooling block. And what we have here is the, the pipes and we actually have power connectors that connects to the main board. And these fans are really huge. Last but not the least, we have two very important components on the test bench, which is storage. So this is a 256 gig Lighton SSD storage. And for your information, Lighton is also known as Plexter these days. All right, and we have a one terabyte WD Blue drive that stores all of our games and huge files on the test bench. There you go, guys. This has been a quick overview of the KLGG test bench Mark 1 provided by ASUS and Cooler Master. We really thank these guys for providing such great hardware to kick off our hardware section. So do stay tuned and remember to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter at KL Gadget Guide. 
And once again, my name is Warren and I'll see you next time in our next video with more hardware reviews and gadget reviews at the same time. Cheers.